Don't look under the internet. Put our, our video up in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy I looked up at just that moment to see Matt just fucking hit himself in the face with a rubber mallet. <laughs> just whack! Oh, buddy. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> hey, it's us. Hi, whopper, Mom. Whopper, whopper, chicken whopper, and another little whopper. Fuzzy, whopper, 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 I don't know what the tree house I lived in a rake, but I never saw the way the orange slid a rake. Oh my god. Oh, there's only three months dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, what was the last part? Now come now you listen, listen to the little child to the safety rail. To the safety rail, <laughs> right. Yes. Well, I guess. There's a llama, a, there's a llama. And there was a funny llama. Fuzzy llama, crippled llama, 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 duck. Well, I thought it was a good time. I thought it was crippled llama. Cripple llama? He what? mentions a cripple no, llama because there's, llama. there's one uh, with a wheelchair. It pops up with a wheelchair. Yeah, it's like. I must have been mishearing Here's that. a llama, there's a llama. Everywhere's a funny llama. Fuzzy llama, cripple llama, 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 dog. I don't remember cripple llama. <laughs> no. I do not remember cripple llama. Was I watching llama. a different version? <laughs> what? Um, um, uh, whoa, 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 what are you doing, Mike? What are you doing right now? Huh. Hello, everyone. Welcome eh. to Don't Look Under the hello. Internet. Hello, it's hello. the Internet Horror Podcast. You. Internet comedy horror podcast. Horrible internet comedy. Horrible internet comedy. <laughs> I like that one the most. Yeah. Um, that's Jason. Hello, hello. That's Doug. He did it this time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, you remember. <laughs> that's Moot. No, I'm here. He's here. <laughs> ah, hi. Matt's here. I and have a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Michael, and I'm here to say, doing cocaine is never the way. <laughs> Mikey Khan. Mikey Khan. <laughs> he sucks. He's stupid. He's stupid. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that everyone's here. I'm yeah, happy I'm, Moot's I'm here. I'm happy to be here. I say everyone like Doug's not missing. Doug is missing. He's not with us right he now. Is. He's on personal stuff right now. Doug is no longer with us. He's no longer with us. <laughs> uh, Doug is doing personal things right now, so he's going to take this recording and possibly another one off. We'll see. Yeah, um, we'll see when he comes back. Yes, but uh, Matt's here live I in... In the studio. In the studio. Yeah, in the studio. studio basement. Yeah, it's pretty great. Um, he's been hanging out in my house, being a bum for like three yeah. days. We've Mike been getting been drinking excessively and watching the Fast and the Furious. <laughs> We've been getting sloppy drunk and then just ripping the Fast and Furious to pieces. <laughs> There's such good movies. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, yeah. Um, well, let's start. To, oh, also new new camera setup, new setup. We've been busy. Yeah. We have a whole have ass busy. setup. Um, this is part of Diluti 3.0. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and we have other things that we filmed that. Yeah, that may or may not may be or good. May or may not be we good. <laughs> That's all I that matters. A lot. I, if, I thought they were funny. If I'm laughing well, at my I'm own content, as as you, guys, so. you have to make content for you, not for the people. That's exactly. what I've learned in this life. You hear that, Discord? Go fuck Go yourself. Fuck yourself. <laughs> Um, I would like to start today off with an old fashioned Deloney house Pass above your keeping. Head. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a more violent Judge Judy. <laughs> Uh, he would do well as that dude in like the orchestra that just has a baseball bat and hits that giant <laughs> fucking drum. <laughs> um, let's see. We have a couple new patrons. We do. We do. I want to give a shout out to Solar Flare. Um, <laughs> Solar Flare. <laughs> Uh, Jason Ramella and Drew, a.k.a. Baruchel, which, since I have you here, and you can beep this out in the sensor if you need to, can one of you guys, real quick for me, go into Discord mm -hmm. um, and then do a thing where one of our guys, um, what's the name? All nine taste buds. Big, big boof man in Discord. Uh -huh. Can we turn him to a Cult of Deluti member real oh, quick? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, big, yeah. big boof oh, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Boof. The boof. The old boofers. The boof yes. Monster. But anyway, uh, again, thank you to Solar Flare. Thank you to Jason Ramala and Drew, a.k.a. Baruchel. If you, if you, if you want to be. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> if you want to be a patron, just like those three names that I said and the names I say every week. You go to patreon.com slash pod. You could chuck it something. Or. Or nothing. Um, but if you do something, you get something in return. That's usually how it goes. Yeah. 
And we're starting in March uh, when this comes out. March yeah, monsters. We're going to do March monsters. March Illegally monsters. can't be called March Madness. <laughs> Illegally distinct <laughs> tournament. March monsters. So basically, TLDR, like I think we did last or for our Patreon update. Yeah. On Patreon right now, go to our Patreon again, patreon.com slash pod. What we're doing is we have a bracket system. We are um, basically doing a battle um, of SCP versus Cryptid. And yes. the polls are closed. And the polls Bowl are closed. closed. So if you wanted to vote, go for But it, you'll, so. get, you'll get to see the episodes where I mean, basically one of us has to defend Cryptids. One defends SCP. Um, one of us... Tries to Watch be fair. Yeah, tries yeah. to be, yeah. yeah. Unbiased. Tries, <laughs> tries to be a mediator. Um, uh, but we are... We should probably also say, because I think we only said it to Patreon, that Cryptid Corner is going, is going away. away. Yes. Yep. That's why, yep, part yep, of why yep. we're doing Sorry, this. Sorry, the one guy just <laughs> said that. Yeah. Honestly, we're probably just going to migrate you over to the... SCPP. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, don't worry, you're still getting your shit. And we're going to um, replace it with something, so you're not losing yeah, content. Yeah, It'll just be something different. Yeah, content get, get, is not going away. We're just changing the type because, if I'm being candid, Doug and I have not been fully invested in Cryptid. <laughs> and unfortunately, I think it's showed. Um, yeah. So we will make it up to you. And you're going to love it. Um, sorry, I wasn't I getting so. emotional. I was having a hiccup. Um, <laughs> you can get emotional. <laughs> <about it. laughs> uh, maybe we'll bring it back in the future someday if Doug and I... Uh, are looking into we it, or, do, or, or if we, we just, just want to talk about a cryptid one day, right. like, hey, I just saw yeah. a fucking big Usually penis. Like and, I just yeah. saw big penis in the forest yesterday, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I want to talk about it. Um, we could totally do that, but in the meantime, yeah, uh, March Madness. Uh, all of the bonuses for this month are just going to be straight up March Madness shit. I'm yeah. super excited for that. Um, so we're going to see how it goes. Um, in also, the meantime, can we clarify what number episode this is? Yes, I was yeah. just about to get there. Perfect. Um, perfect, so perfect. You're you're all probably wondering and noticing when you when you click on the episode there that it says something weird. We we threw a we threw a decimal in there. Yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> this we is, tried to plan and yes, <laughs> now we're you just all, fudging the numbers. You all know on, how that works. On paper, if you do the counting, <laughs> this is episode one hundred. Oh, but no, this is like a, episode like one ten. If you if you yeah. count, because we've like <laughs> uploaded bo- patron bonuses and yeah. stuff. Oh and yeah. Clips, well, so. it's fine, whatever. This is episode ninety nine point five because yes. for episode one hundred we. Rest. Rest. Rock the rock <laughs> <laughs> for episode 100 we got some big big boy things going on and we wanted, and doug we wanted to be here wanted doug to be here so we're gonna do that when doug comes back um so right now you're looking at 99.5 the river i know this is a cop out <laughs> watch doug be gone for a month and we have like 99.6 <laughs> 9.6 and a half 9.7 we literally just never make it to 100 yeah. ever technically you can just never make it to 100 you can never make it to one we're gonna be like those games that are in early access for like yeah. 10 years <laughs> this is uh like i am bread yeah, yeah. <laughs> um and so, with that being said, since we have a big boy coming up, we just wanted to have a little bit more of a relaxed, fun one today. Oh, yeah. I, I found some weird shit on yes, Reddit that yes, I wanted you, to go over. Yes, you fucking did. Um, I thought it was very interesting. Um, and that's where we're at today. So, Hell yeah. do you boys want to start this off with a good old-fashioned Deludy Toast? Oh, yeah. Clinky I, drinky? I, Here, I'll pour you up. Oh, thank you. Here's to me, and here's to me. <laughs> Here's to you and also to me and fuck you. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> cheers to you and here's to me. And f- if we if disagree, we- then fuck you. Here's to me. Cheers, guys. When you hear the clink, drink. Mike, I think I'm leaving your house with half a liver. Mm. It'll grow back. Yeah, It'll grow back. <laughs> as God intended. Livers do that. Yep. Um, so yeah, I, I, I plunged into one of my favorite subreddits. It's, um, uh, our glitch in the matrix. Um, I fucking love this place. Uh, oh, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. I love this one. Uh, ah, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I really just went into that voice. 16. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who doesn't know what that is, go look up Joel Haver on YouTube and just oh, look up the yeah. Batman episode. <laughs> it's, 
<laughs> just wash your hair. Yeah, that's our recommendation. Ask me, ask me the the <laughs> age in any any state, Alabama. Alabama. Sixteen. <laughs> I would rather you kill people. Yeah. Uh, somehow this is yeah, worse. This is worse. I will I will kill you. I will break my one rule and kill you. Um. Anyway, let's shout get out to Joel. If you shout ever wind up Joel here Haver. on the internet somehow, please come on the podcast. Please come on the podcast. Please. You are my idol right now. Him and I did a thing. I fucking love those two channels and internet. Comet etiquette now is yeah. my new favorite. <laughs> Welcome to Ludi, where we plug other shows. Yeah, how long have we been talking about? <laughs> long <laughs> enough. <laughs> you want, we uh, enough. Yeah. Oh, I want to plug. Ten minutes. I do on a serious note want to plug one. I'm doing a lot of this. Like I'm goddamn like Donald Trump or something. I want to plug like one more. From Emperor's New Groove. You know. Now listen here. I just want to plug one more. I want to plug one more show. Um, one more quick show. Um. Over at uh, Ghoulish Mortals, Ghoulish Mortals oh, yeah. in St. Charles, Illinois. We, I took you there. Remember mm-hmm. that? I went there. That we, there we, we made a day of it. Um, but they have a... Um, neat place. It is a neat place. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I bought a Lego. <laughs> <laughs> he did buy a Lego. <laughs> yes, he did. You bought a Lego. Um, but they have uh, their own show that they are doing, um, which seems cool. I've listened to one episode so far. I enjoyed it. And um, I got to say, go check them out. Um they're only going to get better, but essentially what they do is they talk about a movie. Um, and then during that, they come up with like a like themed drink for the movie. Mm. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, I think you guys would like it. They're called the Midnight Movie Distillery. Um, yeah, go check them out. Um, they're, they're supporters of the show, and uh, we, we are supporters oh, yeah. of their shop because their shop is just all things horror, and it's amazing. I will, so, say, oh, yeah. I will you, say I'm pretty sure the owner uh, commented Warwick? on – Yeah, Warwick. He commented on your uh, Instagram post about the, about the, the BBC Micro. About, yeah, BBC Micro. Oh, Somebody really? responded to him. Did you respond? I, that was oh, me. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. I didn't well, even notice that. I didn't, I didn't think anyone that listened to us would know what the fuck the BBC well, Micro was. Warwick's from England, though, right? Yeah. So, and yeah. that's when I, I put two and two together, yeah. and yes. That makes so mm-hmm. much sense. So, but yeah, yeah um, they're in St. Charles, Illinois. Go out there and be like, the Ludi sent me and you will make their day because oh, they're, they're wonderful people over there. And again, check out the Midnight Movie Distillery. Um, Hell yeah. Or whatever the thing I said was. I forgot. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Midnight Movie Distillery. <laughs> um, anyway. Tried. Simple so, Simon's keeping us, uh, keeping us yeah. in check. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, I found two little like Reddit stories on our glitch in the Matrix that I think is wonderful. Um, <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think this is going to get unnecessarily heated. Probably I'm very excited for that. So I, I figured I would read these out to the boys, and then I kind of want to get their take on it, see if they think it's real or fake, and just overall opinions. Um, so this one is called "I got transported to an isolated dimension for an hour, and the world changed for me afterwards." So I'm going to read the whole thing because these aren't that long. It's going to take you all of like two minutes to read each of these, but I just thought they're super fascinating. I thought they were worth a look at. So let's, yeah. let's get into it. This is from um, a user, uh, Frank Z 509. Um, this major glitch happened to me some four years ago and it totally changed my world as I know it. All right. So I work as a volunteer for a high school as a part-time teacher. And this happened on one of the field trips at, that I had with the school on a retreat up to the mountains. We traveled some eight hours on the way up to the famous mountain in the Philippines called uh, Mount (laughs) Batulo. 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 Sure. Botulism. Botulism. Mount Botulism. (laughs) (laughs) Um, The bus ride was a rough uh, six hours from where our high school was stationed. And uh, sorry. That was good. And the hike up the retreat spot was some additional two hours. We left around six in the morning and arrived at around uh, past two in the afternoon. Anyways, everything was pretty normal when we got there. We unpacked our bags and stuff and headed up to the dormitories to place our things. The dormitories consisted of two big rooms on two different levels, and they were both connected on a major staircase that leads up the lobby of the retreat house. The basic layout of the place was that uh, of the place was that it was carved on the side of a hill uh, with the main entrance on top at the edge of a cliff. And that as you went down to the uh, dormitories, you descend lower into the face of the hill. So wait, this thing's, it's just built into, like, the side of a fucking cliff face? Yeah, they, yeah. they really pulled a Lord of the Rings with fucking it's, Minas Tirith. Yeah, yeah, it's just Minas Tirith. <laughs> like, but, Which I would fucking know, kill to live in Minas Tirith. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. This, this is what is I do awesome. every time I play Minecraft. I just find Build a mountain. Minas Tirith. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is my house. <laughs> it's on a mountain. This mountain is my house. There are many like it. Uh, uh, my house. <laughs> True facts about this mountain. True facts about this mountain. Um, I clearly remember that the first thing I did when I arrived was to ask my friend Pablo whether he had an extra sachet of shampoo because I forgot to bring mine. And he said yes. What a nice boy. Sachet, whatever. <laughs> Pablo and I go a long way back. We went to the same high school and college and basically went on and took on the same career at the same school. I'm about 5'11". He's about 6'2". 6'22". 6 feet and 22 inches. <laughs> Pablo's a fucking giant. Um, he's about 6'2". Tanned and toned and cl- uh, he has got these close, uh, close cropped hair. Uh, understand that I knew every quirk about Pablo's uh, Pablo down to his smallest mannerisms. So I'd immediately notice there's something weird or off about him. More on that later. Another hmm. thing worth noting is that the dormitory rooms each have four to six big windows overlooking the mountains. And the bed that I was assigned to each, is very... Wait, wait, Each dormitory room has four, four to, to six, six windows, windows? Hell yeah. Overlooking the mountains. Hell yeah. Gigantic rooms, bro. Yeah. See, well, it is for like a school a class. It is for like a school class. That makes sense. But how many rooms are there? Uh, dormitory two, rooms? Two, two dorm rooms. They're just two giant rooms. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're so just it's two like, really big it's rooms. It's like two big oh, okay. hostels. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. yeah, they're just two was, really big rooms. I was thinking like college I was th- dorms. I was thinking like two maximum beds yeah. and there's no, six fucking wrong. windows. Yeah, I was like, we have, we had one when I was in college. <laughs> I didn't have one. We had to no, rent the window space. That was in the center room. <laughs> <laughs> um, My friends and I threw water uh, balloons out of our window, like six stories down into the first person who came into the, <laughs> who happened to come into the back of our dorm at 1 a.m. And it turned out it was the RA. <laughs> oh, good. We almost got kicked out of the dorm. <laughs> so that reminds, so since we're sharing college stories, there was a time where uh, me and my buddy went out back and we, we made these fireballs mm-hmm. out of like just pure cotton thread and lighter fluid. And Ooh. we were just throwing them back and forth to each other. Well, se- security rolled by. And so they came up to the house, and uh, guess who was the security manager? Mm-hmm. That'd, that'd be me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so they come up, and they look at me, and at this point, I have a foot-tall mohawk, and they're like, did you know that somebody out back was just throwing fireballs at people? And I go, who would do that? I will keep my <laughs> eyes out. I will make sure I find them. I'm so sorry that you had to deal with that. And they're like, okay, good. Thank you for being on our side. And they left. And I was like, cool. Let's go throw fireballs at people's doors. <laughs> Let's go make arson. <laughs> Fucking love college. So anyway, four to six big windows overlooking them. They're mountains. Um, the bed that they were assigned was very close to the window. And I remember that I had a clearer view of the mountain plateau where the sun sets around 6 p.m. <laughs> we go on the night as planned. <laughs> Have dinner. <I'm> dinner. <laughs> Have dinner and do those usual <laughs> things they do on retreats. They do prayer circles, meditation, you know, the, the things that you do. Yeah. Um, normal, normal college yeah, stuff. Insight sharing and so on and so forth. Fast forward about three in the morning. The lights are put out and we go to bed. Nothing weird or original or un- unusual. Yet. Yet. Here comes the glitchy glue. Here comes the glitch. The glitch. <laughs> <laughs> I set my alarm for 5 a.m. I was supposed to be up before the students to help prepare some of the activities and cook food. I was still half asleep when I looked at my phone, and the time says 9.32. Holy shit! I thought, (laughs) my alarm didn't go off! (laughs) Bag inside bag inside inside bag! bag. (laughs) My heart raced, and I jolted awake, and to my surprise, I was alone in the dorm room. I looked around, checking the beds, if by chance a student is still asleep. None. So I rushed to the uh, washroom, connected directly to the dorm uh, room to wash and get dressed. When I noticed that everything was bright, brighter than the peak of the day, uh, the day before, I decided to look at the window and what I saw terrified me. Nothingness. Pure white, infinite nothingness. I'm really scared now. Uh, and finding my way to the door leading out the staircase, I pulled the door open and again I was greeted with total nothingness when he said i thought I, I w- i'm really scared now i thought that was mike just adding <laughs> oh, <input>. I'm, scared. <laughs> I'm really scared yeah, I'm now freaked out anyway um whereas there should be a staircase directly outside the door there's nothing only miles and miles of white visualize this it's as if the door and i'm gonna make this even simpler but this is how they describe it it's as if the dorm room got stuck inside a bigger room with white walls and floor brightly lit and the room uh it is so huge that you can't distinguish the lines between the walls, the floor, and the ceiling. 
I would just call it, hey, you remember the room of uh, fucking the hyperbolic time chamber from Dragon Ball? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It would look like that. I yeah. was thinking exactly. about in Liar Liar when he goes to see Morgan Freeman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's, it's just white. Um, Hello, Bruce, I am God. I am God. <laughs> um, I was scared now. Really, really scared. I tried calling my coal volunteers through my phone, but to no avail. There's no signal. Weirder, I can't seem to find Pablo's number. I didn't quite know it in my head. I paced around the room deciding what to do. Um, I'm sweating badly now, heart racing. I thought I might be having a nightmare, so I tried the cliches. I pinched my cheeks, bit my finger, and yes, they all hurt. I bit my inner cheeks so bad that in fact it started to bleed, and I hated the taste of blood afterwards. It is now 10.02, 30 minutes later. I tried looking out the window again, and sure enough, ah, there is internal nothingness. <laughs> <laughs> it hit my knee. You can still stick your toe, though, apparently. My yeah. fucking knee! My fucking knee! Um, I sat in my bed and prayed. I'm not the religious type, even though just a minute ago it says that they went on, like, prayer. Yeah, yeah. that's the, okay. Like, mm. Yeah. I'm um, so excited to talk about this. I'm not the religious type, uh, but that's the only thing I can think of doing now. Um, I prayed the Lord's Prayer again and again. That's the only prayer I can easily remember. And I fell asleep doing it. What were you... Uh huh. Uh huh. Continue. Yep. Uh-huh. Yep. Matt, I woke up exactly one you can't hour after the prayer that you did forty five <laughs> minutes ago. Matt. Matt. Hey, Matt. <laughs> I woke. You just gotta let him get through it. Okay. And I woke then up, we can unload. <laughs> I woke up exactly. Uh, I woke up exactly one hour after the first time, and the time on my phone now reads ten thirty two. Signals bra- signals back, and to my great relief, so I quickly thought of dialing my colleagues. I was scared, but I braved my way out to looking out the window. And my surprise, the scenery was back to normal. Mountains and the light of early morning. I... <laughs> I washed my face and... Uh, I'm catching up on the coup that's happening in our Discord right now. I washed my face and quickly rushed upstairs looking for Pablo. Uh, a tall, fair-skinned guy uh, greeted me at the lobby. Dude, where have you been? We've been looking for you for hours now. I didn't mind him at first. Um, as quickly as I got, uh, as quickly as I got sight of the head volunteer, I went to him and then the head volunteer told me how they've been looking for me since five in the morning. They said they didn't find me in bed and they tried looking around the retreat house and I was nowhere to be found. I told them my story and we were all freaked out. Like it was some really trippy shit. To this day, we have no idea what happened. I slept at the bus at, uh, uh, at the bus at the next few days, deciding against the comfort of a bed, uh, scared that the incident might happen again. It seems like for hours I've been trapped, or it, it seemed like for hours that I've been trapped in a different dimension. Mike, can I help you for one second? Hi. Mm-hmm. Can I just help you? Hi. Help him. What's up, buddy? What's happening? Oh! Zoobie, oh. Zoobie, Zoobie. Oh! Wow. Ah! Uh? Anyway. Jason. <laughs> The tall fair skin I can read <laughs> The tall fair skin guy approached me again. He walked the same way as Pablo, and now I realize that they're approximately the same height and build. And I literally stared at his face when it hit me. He looked so much like Pablo. A bit <laughs> so, much like Pablo. <laughs> so much like Pablo. A bit different, but very much the same. Cheekbones, nose and shit. I was wondering, who the fuck is this guy? It's totally creeping me out. When I looked down, I read his ID, and there it says clearly Pablo. No way in hell, man. This is not Pablo, Jason. How do you... He talked the same way. Knew everything that only Pablo would know. And I just had to accept that this is fucking Pablo now. No, he's a skin jogger. Also worth noting... (laughs) (laughs) Also worth noting... Is this the life of Pablo that Kanye saw? I think it is, yes. (laughs) Also worth noting uh, that even as I got out of the white zone, as he calls it, I still feel the ooze of blood from my inner cheek where I bit it earlier, confirming that I really wasn't dreaming and making it all up. Everything changed afterwards. My friends, family, they're pretty much the same, but you know that, but you know that something was different. No, they're, I don't. <laughs> don't tell me what I don't know. Uh, they were complaining that somehow I'm different now, but I'm pretty sure I didn't change. They did. Wow, they're just like gaslighting them. Like, no, 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 you're fucked up. <laughs> I'm in my 30s now and still have no explanation as to what happened that day. If anyone can shed some light uh, uh, as to what might have happened, I'd really appreciate it. People listen to my story, but they just freak out as I am never heard, uh, uh, as they have never heard of that st- the same story before. Please, if anyone out there has any clue, help me. My world has really changed, and I have uh, I need to find a way to, to know why. Does he explain anything about else about how his world changed, other than this happened to him and Pablo's weird now? 
No, I, I think he <laughs> just means like the people around him are different. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that's kind of what so he's trying to say. So this is like, have either of you ever seen the movie, uh, They Look Like People? No. Or are you talking about... Uh, I think it's, it's a, Jake Gyllenhaal's in it. They Look Like People? Mm-hmm. Nope. It's, never it's heard like it. an indie horror movie. It's It's surprisingly unsettling, but this is kind of what that reminds me of where like... He wakes up one day and all of a sudden, like Mm -hmm. everyone seems the same, but he just knows. He just knows Mm, in his. Sounds like schizophrenia. Yes, it does. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, so what do you what do you people think? Um, I think this guy had him. Well, okay. Do we want to do real or fake? Sure, real or fake. I'm gonna go right right after 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 it. So I'm gonna go on 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 go. Say real or fake. Ready? Okay, and real or fake (laughs) is is did. Did he get transported to a dimension, or is he making it up? Or, or is this some other excuse? I guess we should say that. Do we want to do real or fake, as in this guy genuine be- genuinely believes this is what happened to him? That he disappeared for several hours into a different dimension like, and then reappeared. Yeah, real uh, yeah. is just he didn't he didn't just go on Reddit and just make up a story and post it. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. good with that. Okay. Uh, okay. Ready? Count us in. One, two, three, go. Fake. fake. Real. Real. Okay. Real. Yeah. I would say this is real just because, uh, since, I mean, it's easy because I'm here. Because um, <clears throat> someone had to for the sake of discussion. <laughs> yes. No, but like when I was like reading through the comments and I found the one that I, I read the first time mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, that could actually kind of make a little bit of sense. But someone's like, um, you may have just had like a, uh, mini, a mini, like a little stroke yeah. or something, which yeah. would cause, you know, your memory and personality mm-hmm. yep. to be altered. So I bl- I don't think he sense that everything would just seem a little off to you after yeah. that because your brain is fucked up. Exactly. Yes. I don't so think he actually he's fucked up. Mm-hmm. So he, I don't think he got transferred somewhere. I no. think that he might believe he did, I but he I think he did have reality differently. Yeah, I think they did have some sort of stroke or have something. I, have, probably. I sh- have I shown you guys the pictures of like uh, I'm sure they're AI generated, but it's it's a picture that you can look at that essentially shows you what it's like to like. Have a stroke. I don't want to do that. I would like to <laughs> it's, not. It's not, a, it's no, not great. No. It's not I great. I hate brain things. It's, like Really? No, like you would hate this I don't then. like thinking about the things that can just go catastrophically wrong with your like brain. Like a brain aneurysm or, yeah, or something? I'd hate it. Essentially, so essentially what happens. So th- these images, everything in these images looks like super familiar. Like if you look at the picture as a whole. Oh, I know what oh, you're talking about. Yeah. You look yeah. at it and you're like, okay, I know what all of those things are. But as but soon you as you start it. to, you, as soon as you start to focus on like individual things, mm-hmm. you have no fucking idea what they are. They're just oh. foreign and alien to you. So mm. your entire, like the entirety and reality is uncanny valley to you. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And I, I could see that happening here. Man, but he does, he describes it as just a, the white zone. It's also super nice not having the discord lag. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's, that's so much easier nice. to hold a conversation like this. Oh, I just moved to Illinois. Yeah. That's like, yeah. Why not? You've been good. You've earned this. the podcast. Yeah. I've earned this. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I, I can see, I can see like a mini stroke being part of the explanation. So I can why see do a you full blown stroke? Being why part do you of guys say fake? So you think he made this up then or something? I just don't think he got transported to another fucking dimension. Well, no, the, me neither. That's what the real well, the real Okay, yeah, but you think he might really believe this happened to him? Like, yes, he I, genuinely thinks. This yeah, happened. yeah, that's what I meant. Like yeah. he genuinely thinks. Gotcha. He well, got yeah. transported when in reality it was probably just a stroke. Okay, so I'm the only one who's on the side of he just fucking made this up. Sure. Okay. I could, I am, I am an open book. I can be swayed okay. one way or another at this point. I just point. think. There's just so many explanations for this. Like, migraine headaches are one of them. Okay. I mean, I can see where you're coming from with he might have had a stroke or something. I, mm. I think, I think his story doesn't add up entirely. Yeah, because, you're kind of right. Because of what we, like Jason and I just pointed out, the things about his dorm. Yeah. And the prayer circles and stuff. Yeah. One, like. If he's the only place anybody's just hanging out and doing prayer circles in their fucking dorm room is at some sort of religious college. Right. Mm-hmm. And and if he do, is not very religious and only remembers the Lord's prayer, why what's he doing at a religious college? Yeah. And he doesn't remember the <clears throat> prayer oh, yeah. that he was just doing like 45 minutes ago. If you're uh, if you're at a religious school institution, you know, the Hail Mary. Yeah. Can you go like, back and look at the part again where he talks about the prayer circles and stuff? Because I yeah, want to make sure I'm out right here. The Detroit. <clears throat> Uh, we have dinner and do those usual things they do at retreats, prayer circles, meditation, insight, sharing, and so on. Okay. Um, th- I mean, what retreat? I- what kind you of could- school is this? Oh, it's mm, a high school. A high a school. part-time teacher. It's actually, it's Elon school. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess you could work at a high school where 
relig- re- like religion is like part a Catholic of school or something. Maybe but you to- yourself not be particularly oh, religious. Yeah. Mm. Our, uh, so I went to uh, um, a school called Marmion. It was a it's a Catholic all boys military school for high school, and there was the, one of the counselors we had was he was an atheist. Mm-hmm. And all like most of the 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 teachers fucking hated that fact. Yeah. Absolutely hated it. But like I paychecks a paycheck. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah, I mean he'd been there for like forty years or some shit like that. Dang. Okay. So, uh, well yeah, now I'm on your guys' side. Yeah. <laughs> it might not have even been a stroke or anything like that, but I, I do think like it could have just been like a mental but I mean, a mental thing. Yeah. I will say, Matt, you do bring up like I we guess always too, like, have to remember that the internet will you think always somebody be... would just do that. Just go on the internet and tell why. <laughs> would someone really go on the internet and make something up to bring them attention? And do like, you really I guess think that? I don't really know much about like strokes. Like, um, I know I know my mom's Great had band. some or anything, but like, oh. um, <clears throat> not to share too much information, no matter. But like, I haven't heard of like someone having a stroke and then you know experiencing a different dimension. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know what goes on during a stroke or I don't re- recall any stories, but like from my understanding is like they don't remember anything that happened to them. Well, the, yeah, they, they can't. Yeah, put, this guy remembers this entire experience in vivid detail. And yeah, that's that's a, and, and that's a red flag. Actually, I take it back. Now I think about it, because also I think he is making this up. Now I think about it. Whole thing out the window. Well, I don't think it was a stroke. And the reason being is because it even mentions like his friends are like, oh, we couldn't find you in your room or in the, the retreat area. Mm. So he is physically up walking around while having a stroke. That doesn't make any sense. Don't. So if his friends yeah. went out looking for him, that means he's physically getting up, moving around, which adds to the theory of him actually teleporting, which I, I don't believe he yeah. did. Okay. I, I think he made I this up. Mind again. Yep. I think he made this I, up. I'm, I'm with you. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's one of those two. It's either Steak. something's wrong with his brain or he just needed. But attention. that wouldn't explain him getting up and walking around for like f- three hours. Did he? But if he did that is what we're and saying. And even his his time frame is even off because he says that one hour later, like he was he was in the, the area, the, the place for an hour. But then he mentions that his friends were out looking for Couldn't him for hours. Him for hours. Yeah. yeah. Or whatever. So where's the time frame? Fake. You're making it up. Yeah. You're a liar. On I'm the sure internet. You could have been okay. <laughs> does this guy. Does, okay. Does this person have a like a history of sleepwalking? That's a good question. Because could have been people, a dream. He was dreaming. And, and he maybe. sleepwalked. Yeah. And that's why they were looking for him. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Could be. Could yeah, be. Could that's be. a super simple could answer be. as well. Like I, I don't be. think he went to the white zone. <laughs> Yeah, I, you did not go to the hyperbolic time chamber. The hypebonics rhyme chamber. The hypebonics yeah. rhyme chamber. You did that one on purpose. You can suddenly <laughs> jump really high. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think this one. I don't. It's either fake or fake to me. Like this, yeah. he did not go. <laughs> he didn't go to another dimension. He didn't go to the. He did not visit the back rooms. I, I agree. I wish he did, but yeah, this yeah. is this is out there. This okay. did kind of remind me a little bit of backroom stuff. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Like he he glitched through yeah, reality, mm, kind exactly. of. Like, oh, you know, Clift. Oh yeah. Um. Well, do we want to go to a different one, which I think is a little creepier? Mm. I, lo- I love this other one. By yeah, the way. I'll start out the creeps. Yes. So this one was posted. Oh, uh, by the way, if, uh, this the one from Frank Z O five O nine, the you know, teleport one that we were just talking about, was from nine years ago. <clears throat> this one is from Crow Horse. And it's from 10 years ago, <laughs> um, which I keep thinking back. I'm like 10 years ago. Damn, this is from like 2007. No, that's just 2013. Like that's yeah, yeah. not that far ago. Yep. Uh, I graduated <laughs> from fucking from college over a decade ago. I graduated high school 11 years ago. Woo! Yeah. Well, Mike oh. and I have spent a lot of this weekend just like revisiting <laughs> things from like the last, like from the late 2000s. We've been listening to like yeah. Reliant K and like Holy Toby Mac. Shit. And like, like when we look up things on YouTube or stuff and it's like 14 years ago, I'm just like, what? Oh, yeah. no. Oh, right in my childhood. Mm. So, so what's, one, what's the next one you got for us? Another, is sorry, another, another, uh, this one is called Matrix. I, no, not necessarily. This one is called. Is it posted to R slash Glitch in the Matrix? Yes. Oh, okay. oh, I thought you meant something else. Sorry, I thought you <laughs> meant like another t- uh, dimension transport. Oh no, 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 yeah, no. Just this is again found on <clears throat> yes. R slash Glitch in the Matrix. Both of these are because this is one of my favorite subs. It's just, fa- it's fascinating because you'll find like kind of relatively cool ones like this, but they're buried by like the forty thousand yeah. that are just like. My keys vanished. <laughs> a book well, we just randomly this. fell from the sky. Four minutes later, oh, found them. Yeah. We already did an episode on one of these. Yeah, the, the lamp. With yeah, the, the lamp. lamp one, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> um, so this one is one. called "I, I Think I it. Called Myself." So um, I'm just gonna skip. I'm not skipping shit. 
I've it's been reading the story so short. Just read the yeah, whole thing. I've been reading the stories on this subreddit and enjoyed them. So I thought I would share my own weird story with you guys. It happened in early 2000 when I was working at a juvenile detention center in a small town in Oklahoma as a corrections officer. I was working nights at the time and went to work at 9 p.m. This night when I arrived for work, my supervisor looked confused and asked me what I was doing there. I said, I work tonight. And he said, but they said you called in a few hours ago saying you were sick. <laughs> there it is. I, knew that was I was a bit appearance. confused and said, there must have been someone else and they got the message wrong. <clears throat> After everyone else showed up for work that night, it was a bit more weird. But as we carried on as usual and assigned everyone their places for the night, I went to work in the control room where I usually work. The control room is in the center of the prison that has direct control over the cameras, doors, phones, and everything. After I relieved the guard on duty and settled in for the night, uh, I looked at the messages, uh, the message that said I called in. It said that I called at 650 and said that I had gotten sick while out cleaning up after the storm. There had been a storm that night, uh, the night before, and it was a bit bad, but not anything that I had to go out and help clean up. It was truly weird. The supervisor came into the control came into the control about that time. He was also a friend of mine outside of work, and we started talking about it and how odd it was. I decided to call my wife at home and tell her about uh, about it while he was still sitting there. I picked up the phone and dialed. After two rings, a man picked up the phone with a raspy voice and said, "Hello." Okay. Hello. 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 Well, then I have to change everything. Oh, never yeah. mind. Go ahead. Hello? <laughs> Ignore the raspy voice part of it. Just cut that out. Um, I did not know what to say for a few seconds. I looked at the phone to make sure I dialed the right number, and I had. After a few seconds, this person said, Hello? <laughs> Again, in the same voice. <laughs> not raspy. <laughs> I said, Hello? Who is this? This is Taylor. Who is this? The person said, my head started spinning because my name is Taylor also. It's almost like this is an incredibly common name. <laughs> <laughs> I said in almost a scream, where is Anne? He said, Anne's in bed. Who is this? I dropped the phone and told my supervisor to ring me out. I had to get home and I took off towards the door. I could hear Dave pick up the phone behind me and say, hello? Followed soon after by, what the fuck? <laughs> Loud, rather loudly. <laughs> I ran to my car and drove home faster than what was legal, my mind racing the entire time. I busted through, through the door and my wife was sitting watching TV and I was shocked and was shocked at me being home. I asked her who was there and she said no one has been here. After a rather long talk with my wife, I went to call the prison to tell them what was going on, but the phone was dead. I went back to work and when I came in, Dave was acting weird and he asked, how the hell are you doing this? He told me that when I left, he picked up the phone and the person on the other end sounded like me. He kind of freaked out and hung up the phone. A minute later, as he could see my car leaving the parking lot, I had called back from home and asked what the fuck was going on. He said that I was a bit irate and said I was sick and did not feel like playing these games and was telling him to stop prank calling me and hang up, hung up. After convincing him I had no idea what was going on, we went back to work. Later, I found out that the phone lines for my area had been knocked down by the uh, the night before by the storm. This is absolutely the strangest thing that has ever happened to me. This just Whoa. sounds like the plot to the movie Coherence. Mm. Never seen it. Reddit or eat my teeth said, my nipples are rock hard, man. Really, really trippy. trippy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matt, if you like uh, quantum puzzles, oh, I yeah. guess, quantum okay. mysteries, watch Coherence. Mm, right. So It's very strange. What the? We're going to um, go real or fake on go again. Is so this, so do you really think that somehow there's some weird time, timey wibby wubby dubby timey stuff going wibby. on? Timey wibby wubby and this dubby. man has called himself... Like he he called himself. He's like, "Where's my son?" He talks in a multi-dimensional version of exactly. himself. Exactly. Okay. Or mm -hmm. do you think he's making <laughs> things up on he's the internet just for attention? Just for attention. So let's go with this. On go. Ready? One, two, three. Real. Real. Fake. Fuck yeah, okay. Matt. Fuck yeah, Matt. Oh. Go ahead, elaborate. Or do I have to go because I'm the only fake? You're the you're the solo, so uh -huh. I say you should yeah. have to stake yeah, your you, claim you first. Try, yeah, okay. try to convince us. I, I honestly feel like if this was real, I, I feel like it would have been... He's like, ah, I talked to my supervisor and we just went right back to work. Once this happens, there's no just going back to work. 
<laughs> that doesn't happen. You and your supervisor are now trying to figure out quantum entanglement and seeing if right. you can tap into like the multiverse. You don't just let this go. Yeah. No. And, and he he begin he doesn't even say like he's like oh right in the beginning he's like I guess I'll tell my story that happened fucking like twenty years ago. You haven't been like talking to people about Spending, this dedicating you the rest of your life yeah. to investigating this yeah so i'm gonna go fake just because you don't just let shit like this go i will say also okay, I, I don't know how i don't know how like um juvenile detentions work but i feel like do they have just like a fucking overnight team like do juveniles need an overnight team in juvenile juvie do you need an overnight like supervisors yes. that are manning everything like this? Yes. Yeah. Because yeah. I mean, okay. it's I mean, it's, it's like prison. Yeah, it's just prison for it's, people who are underage. It's young I guess. prison. I guess <laughs> so. Just okay. Leave these young whippersnappers unsupervised. I guess you're right. Yeah. I don't know, but he also Some is like high schools that don't even have people there overnight have overnight. Oh yeah. yeah. I guess you're right. Yeah. All right, I take that back. But I don't know. I just feel like it's. <laughs> what's your next? What's your next point? <laughs> Let's debunk that one too. <laughs> it just seems weird because like he's. I, again, he's like, oh, I some guy said that I called in sick for work. And he's like, that really bothered me. He's like, I, I had to investigate. <laughs> no, that when sounds, before, like, that sounds he was like, like a manager. When before he was just like, eh, it must have been someone else. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like this just, well, okay, is, let's, the premise is very easy and very easily made up is kind of what I'm mm-hmm. saying. Mike, and, and no way yeah. he's, he's not investigating it further. He's just like, that was weird. Yeah. I'll post it on Reddit and nothing else. It's Fuck that. Very. This, this is how you become the guy that it starts delving into multiverse theory. It's very movie. Mike, yeah. Mike, like, let's, let's role play for a sec. Okay. I'm going to be your boss. Okay. And you're just going to be you. You're, you're, call, you're calling me at work. Jason's mm-hmm. really dedicated to debunking this whole my, bring, my coworker said I called. Bring, him. bring. Hello. Hello. Is it? Who is this? Who is this? This is Joe. I'm <laughs> Joe. All right, this is going wildly not how I wanted it to go. <laughs> I'm not Joe. even remotely. If you were to call into work and then all of a sudden you heard that you called into work, but you didn't. Yeah. I'd just be like, oh, I already did. Forgot. <laughs> But I guess what? you would know what your reason was. Yeah. You would, well, but also like if 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 someone told me like, oh, I thought you called in to work. I think my first go to would be like, no, that must have been somebody else. And then yeah, just like that's what he did oh, exactly. Like, just an easy I, yeah. I wipe my hands of it and be like, uh, s- someone did an oopsie. Well, because I know that I didn't. So like, yeah. obviously it's somebody else. Yeah. But that's it. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I would do. So aren't you reinforcing Mike's point, though? Yeah, it sounds like you're reinforcing that, my point. This guy yeah. was really upset by the fact that somebody else had called in. Yeah, and like he where, mentions. Where the normal reaction would have been to just let it go. Your boss is, or your boss doesn't no, give you any shit about no, calling it's, in. It's, oh, not even a little bit. No, it's not that. What I, I the have, fuck? I, uh, yeah, no, no, my boss does, but it's it's not that. What I'm saying is, hang on, let me find it again real quick. I think I'm, I'm misunderstanding what you're saying. I think, um, I think the, the part of the story was that this guy... Called in, right? And and somebody like it says the, he was a bit confused and said to his boss, "It must have been someone else. They got the wrong message, or they, they got the message wrong." And then immediately after, it says Everett all showed up for work that night, and it was a bit more weird. Well, right, that part, right. yes, that's strange. Yeah, and but like, why is it weird? What's weird about it? The fact that someone called off, but everyone was there. Okay, but again, it could have been just been an accident. I don't know. Oh, to be fair, I have called work saying, "Hey, I'm going to be late," and then I was actually mm-hmm. early. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe yeah, I won't be there today. Okay. Oh wait, maybe I will. I think we're looking too deep into it. Why do you think, think it's real? Right. Why do you think it's real? Um, I think this is real because I want to. Okay, that's really it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just think it, I think it's creative. Um, I there's a lot of details. There's a lot of very very like minute details, and I think this actually goes back to our uh, our last episode where I, I kind of thought that the about the Dodson messages and how I thought it was yeah. real because of those little tiny minute details that you can't really verify but that's right. kind of part of why it's real um i think that kind of plays into it um plus if you read through the comment section did you read through the comment section at all of this one yeah uh slightly yeah but it i didn't think it was all there's that a lot of people reciprocating this exact same thing like same oh like it happened thing. to them yes. i've heard stories where like i'm not a big believer believer in the paranormal or anything like that i think if anything Like, if anything that I can see being plausible like that happens, I think there may be some sort of, um, like, possibility or truth to multiple timelines and, like, multiverses and stuff accidentally crossing into each other. And this is the sort of thing that would fall into that. But I have heard stories, and I've seen stories on the internet where 
like there have been 911 calls. Like there's one yes. in particular that I'm thinking of that is was a 911 call from someone who either was getting murdered or something yes. like that. And the mm. phone line, like the house had just been abandoned for years. The phone line was disconnected. But according to the telecommunications company, there's no way that that call co- couldn't have come from that address. Right. Hmm. Like you can trace it there. They have the times that I think I know what story yeah. you're talking about. And the, the theory, the only rational theory anyone was ever. And I think this was like a variable story, verifiable story like this happened. Yeah. And I think the only reasonable explanation they could ever come up with was that that was actually a message that got stuck in the telephone system somehow and accidentally got replayed or something like, like that. Like a ripple. Like yeah. An electronic ripple. Yeah. Hmm. Um, but this kind of seems like the same th- sort of thing to me. Yeah. Interesting. So if any, like, if anything were to be real along the paranormal, uh, uh, like, this would be it, maybe. The paranormal, this Subtle is the sort of thing like I this. would believe. Yeah. Yeah. You're more apt to believe in, like, echoes than, yeah. like, Actual like spirits, and, like, yeah, like, paranormal. like something accidentally, like two wires in the multiverse accidentally get crossed, and it's like, well, yeah. that was weird. That and was then, weird. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, like deja vu, yeah. like all the shit like that can be explained that way. I can kind of get that. And that goes into like string theory too, which that's a whole other thing we'll go into at a different mm. time. I wonder how much this affected uh, his marriage. <laughs> Because he's like, I went home to Anne, I was like, who's been in the house? And she's like, nobody. Does he just think that she's, yeah. Does he just think that she's having like an affair on him now? Like, is the trust just out of the window for no reason? Well, you fucking well, right. He clearly let things go pretty easily. Yeah, like you were for saying. twenty fucking so, years. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, but oh, your yeah. point about the, the about the thing about him, like just letting it go, and you think that he would investigate this? I don't know. Some people are just like that. Some people just want to live a normal everyday life, and if something weird happens to them, they're like they're quick to just kind of let it go. Because I don't, they don't think this is one of those things you could just let go. Like, I don't care if you want a normal life. If something like this happens, like in my opinion, like I live a pretty normal life. I'm married, about to have a child. I live in a home. I have a job. <laughs> like I live a pretty basic, yes. normal, average life. I would say. You if are this happened to me, guy. if this happened to me, I'm quitting my job. I'm going full time, just figuring out what the fuck happened and how I can replicate it again. Oh, J Death brought up a good point in the Discord. This could have been someone who was cheating with um this guy's wife and he and did pick up the phone and when they realized that Panicked. it was Taylor pretended like just Panics. made something up like pretended to be him because mm. that was the first and only thing that he could think of. I will say that was a stroke of fucking genius yeah. if that's the case. Right. And yeah. and basically his wife and this random raspy voice stranger are just gaslighting him and thinking that he <laughs> called himself. <laughs> and maybe in the back of his mind he knows that's what's going on and that's why he's not looking into it deeper because he doesn't want to know. So you and just you just think this guy's kind of a dingus. Well, <laughs> and, and it's it's one of those things too like uh, cuz it I, if I like called myself and talk to yourself? I don't think I would know, because but, you don't know what your own voice sounds like unless you hear it back through a recording. I know, well, I listen to my voice recorded so much. That, All the time. Like, I don't really well, listen to it that you much. Don't, you don't know that this guy does that, though. Yeah, exactly. I still so think the, that even if I had never heard my voice recorded, if I heard a recording it. of my voice, I'd be like, oh, that's me. I don't know. You sound a lot different than what you think you do. Yeah. You know what true. I mean? It's because you like, hear yourself through your earbones. Like, I, I swear to God, I, I, I'm going to test this, actually. I'm going to get, like, a recording of, like, Lori's audio. Mm-hmm. Somehow, I'm just going to, we have some yeah, of the old files. So much. Bug you Let's, yeah, I'm going to bug you. <laughs> we have, we, I ha- we have an episode of her on the, uh, a bonus with her. Oh, yeah. Um, so, what, and an actual episode, the COVID episode. Yeah, go let's, to the corner. Let's yeah, rip yeah. some audio from that. Okay. Call her and play it and just see if what happens. That's her. Really if she realizes idea. her. I like that. But you know? she'll be saying things that she knew she said, though. Mm. Mm. You're right. Because she'll be like, oh, yeah, I said this. I remember saying this. You're right. We okay. We gotta flesh this out. We gotta, we gotta figure gotta this out. Take words out of that. Chop it up. Oh, well, just like AI deepfake her voice. Yeah, that's exactly. The thing you can do exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll just do, use machine learning. Yeah. I'll AI generate my wife. <laughs> <laughs> we just create. We just create a Laurie clone. <laughs> Um, wow. So, so I. Do you think this is fake? Yeah, I'm two fakes in. Okay, you I are just two fakes in. Yeah, I thought these were fascinating, <laughs> but I also just think they're kind of fake. They are fascinating, but like, why do you think, why? why I told you, you why. Think? People make shit up on the internet, and there's not a lot going on here. This seems very movie-esque. Can like, you, this but, looks like a short story. Can you point to, like... What I think is fake about it? Like, I've done that already. I've done that already. A specific example. The fact that he just lets it go is what I, makes me think it's fake. No, no 
common sense person would just hear themselves on the phone and, and have like evidence from like his boss being like, yeah, that's fucked up. Something's going mm-hmm. on here. And both of them are just like, what are you going to do? <laughs> like, well, no. Yeah. Like, that's, no, that's I, just for that alone. Like, I don't care mm-hmm. who you are. You are immediately trying to figure out what the fuck happened for the rest of your life. And to be honest, this does right. sound like a, like a Colin six story. Like a, like it, it sounds like something that you would, you would tell too many details. Like you would, you would elaborate too much. You know what I mean? Like if you're calling in sick, but it's not real, you mm-hmm. like people tend to just like yeah, be like, oh, last night I did this I, and I did yeah. that, and, and then and at it, three a.m. I woke up and yeah. I threw up, and it was I if just, you're actually <laughs> throwing up and shitting your ass off, and you can't go to work because of it, you yeah, literally call like, and you're like, I, I won't feel be there. like death and will not be there. <laughs> yeah. I won't be there. Sorry, <laughs> but if you're if you're lying about it, you go, oh my god, I've been throwing up all day. I've been up for like two hours, and I had these burritos yesterday, and I thought. And that's what the, like, that's kind of what this guy sounds like he's doing. So I like I completely understand where you're coming from. Do you sure. think this the guy storm made got me sick. All this stuff. Well, also he says, he says. <laughs> well, also he says like um, he says, oh, they had a message saying I called off because I got sick from the storm. The fuck does that mean? What are you cleaning up? The perfect storm. <laughs> what do you? What do you? What are you Late cleaning 2000s. up? Two thousands. Early two thousand. Early two thousand. Where? Oklahoma. Juvenile detention center. Was this? The this year like 2000. The, uh, One of us Google major storm gotcha. in Oklahoma in the oh, year 2000. Yeah, verify. Verify yeah. it. All right, major. And also, like, he's like, um. Well, there was a major thing. They a said storm you. In Oklahoma this week, wasn't there? We're probably just going to find a whole probably. bunch of stuff about it. They that. said you called in a few hours ago saying that you were sick. And then he goes on saying it's from the storm? Like, that doesn't make any sense. How's this cleaning up storm? <sighs> Mm-hmm. There were a fuckload of like winter storms. Yeah, two thousand in, Dece- in yeah. yeah in December eleventh through. But he said early, so early two mm. thousands, right? Early two thousand, two thousand, oh, early two thousand, something in like January, February, March, April, May, June, right. July, August. Oh, well, fake! There, there were no storms. There were no storms. <laughs> zero, <verifiable>. zero precipitation <laughs> before August of two thousand, <laughs> according to this website. There we go. Climate.ok.gov. I fucking got you. <laughs> I got you, crow horse. Fucking got him. You lying piece of shit. Bitch. Got him. (laughs) Hey, look, we actually did real research and came to a real, real conclusion. He may have forgotten the the S. S. Two thousands. Yeah. Yeah. But well, never mind. I'm (laughs) working with the information given to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a tough one. If you go off the 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 basis that two thousand is when this happened, I will agree with Mike. This is one hundred percent fake. But if you forgot the S, the lowercase S. Then maybe. maybe has a little bit more. Maybe has more credence, but yeah. um, credence. I don't know. Mm. People do be going on the fucking on Reddit specifically, almost sometimes to just, just to lie, just to lie, just to lie, just for to attention. Make up. Yeah, <laughs> I just want to be here. <laughs> I'm just happy to fucking be here. Well, none of well, us are because you're a liar. Okay. Holy shit! I didn't realize that we've been talking for 52 minutes. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, man. That's kind of amazing. We got that this is going. Amazing. Everything's yeah. amazing when you're here in real life. Movie. You know what? It's not wrong. Actually, I've had more fun this weekend than I've had in a long time, to be perfectly honest. Hell yeah. So, I did yeah. it. And it's you all it, because man. of Portillo's. And it's, yeah, that and, Italian beef sandwich. Is and Jewel really... Osco. Thank you, Jewel Osco. <laughs> He's never been to a Jewel. And no, I was like, oh, I didn't know what fuck, the fuck, we gotta go. Was. Yeah, Matt, Matt drove up here <laughs> specifically to go to, to, go to Jewel, Jewel Osco. Osco. <laughs> Which is basically a Meyer. It's for, just a Meyer. It's, just a Meyer. Yeah. it's, it's a like halfway between a Meyer and a Kroger. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. It's just I haven't been to a Kroger. Room. You've never been to a Kroger. Well, well now we have to go have visit to come to Indiana and Kroger. Kroger. <laughs> we have so many. <laughs> Specifically just for Kroger. For Kroger. Yeah. yeah. I'll just make that hop, skip, and jump across the pothole. So, like, what, what, what do we think about this one? What are, we, are we landing on, like, a, are we determining the fate? Well, I think story? he's still in fake. You're in fake now? Where I'm, are you at? I, I can see the I can see his argument. Where are you at? I mean, what do they do in MythBusters where they they plausible can't, plausible plausible? Yeah. I, I'm that, implausible. I'm implausible. Yeah. Yeah. You cowards! <laughs> you cowards! <laughs> Pick a lane. Yeah, maybe. Um, maybe. Maybe. That's okay. I'll let it go. What do you, the viewer, think? Comment below. Let us know on Instagram or let Twitter. Let us know on Instagram or, or YouTube. YouTube. Or YouTube, yeah, YouTube makes more sense to do that. It does. Please go fucking help our YouTube out. Yeah. We need yeah. all the help we can get we, because we, we swear too much. We briefly had 666 subscribers. We did. We did. And I didn't got, take a screenshot of it. And then we got three more. 
even though I asked. Three of you could you leave. Did. Mike told me to do it, and I just <laughs> yeah. didn't. Three of you leave, just <laughs> so we can go. I forgot. I, thought, I legitimately thought about it, and thought, And they were just what? like, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> this asshole tells me to do too much shit. <laughs> I brought him a computer. I don't have to do anything else. <laughs> but do go to our YouTube because in the next yes. month, a couple weeks, whatever, there's going to be some videos there that Mike yes. and I made this weekend that I think are going to be really funny. Oh, man. They're going to be, they're they're gonna be, be funny to me. <laughs> yeah. That's we all that think matters. they're funny. I thought I they thought were funny. funny. Yes. Um, also, look at that. It's Nick. Oh, there's also going to be the bean thing. So. Oh, right. Bean yeah. thing. That'll be Oh, yeah. That's like a whole hour of content. Don't right spoil there. it. But yeah, we're having like... How much can you spoil with the bean thing? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody listening is like, oh, yeah. yeah oh, I the bean it. thing. Oh, the bean guy. I don't need to watch it now. Um, the orb, the cube, and the pyramid, and the, the bean, bean the thing. Bean. Yeah. Oh, that's my shape. <laughs> we do the bean. We figured out my shape. <laughs> a non-Euclidean bean. Bean. <laughs> Fuck yes. Yeah, someone make uh, someone make Moot a shape. Make him the bean. Make him the bean. <laughs> um, wait, the, I thought you were like Chicago a hexagon bean. or yeah, something. Turn to the Millennium Park bean, yeah. please. <laughs> just Moot's face. Giant um, and shiny. Yeah, so be on the lookout on the YouTube because we have a whole lot of like just YouTube exclusive content yeah. coming out there very soon. Um, and now that Moot brought me my super cool new computer... I can play big boy games, yeah. and Mike I have. Do things. I cried. I literally to the cried. Patreon, so that you can see more of Mike playing Phasmophobia. He says no. he's never going to do it again, but it was oh, so. Yes, I, I, cannot, I have to be here he for that. Through his headphones, I can't. Twice. I, I can't do it when I'm by myself. If you're here, I will play it all okay. day. But I can't play it by myself. If I'm in a dark basement alone, no, it's not happening. I need another body here to know I'm actually safe. Because yeah, I literally started Just crying. The body, <laughs> I was laughing. And I hope the tears were from the laughter and not the fear. <laughs> oh, dude, but I don't honestly know. <laughs> the video that I saw, the panic and terror in your eyes. Oh, was I didn't even get the good, really the real good parts. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was too. I, like I was like shaking. I was so scared. <laughs> There's a part where like, um, for those that play don't play phasmophobia, you're essentially Zach Bagans from Ghost Adventures, but the ghosts yeah. are real. Um, but like and they're trying to kill you. Yeah, but we like everyone was dead except like me and one other person, and like my light starts flashing, so I'm like, oh! <laughs> so I like turn off my light and I just get into a corner and I just crouch and I just sit there in the dark <laughs> and I'm like, I fucking hate this, I fucking hate this, I fucking hate this. <laughs> worst and thing then, you like, can do. And then like I hear it like like the heart like doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Yeah. and I'm like oh, it's getting closer and then I hear like it's making like like predator noises or like the grudge noises like mm. ah, ah. and I'm like no no I'm like, so I'm like fuck it and I see like the hands come on the screen and I'm like no ah! it was so fucking terrifying like in horror games it was hilarious uh, fuck yes. I can't play them it gets me fucking agita like I can't do it man but yeah if you subscribe to the Patreon on Sundays you can come play video games with Mike I will yeah. shave six months I will shave a month off of my life every week for you to, for you. for you. I think we should start allocating some of the Patreon funds specifically to buy my so life insurance games that he hates. Oh, like yeah. Alien Isolation should be the uh, next one. No, yeah. we should, we should take some of the Patreon funds to allocate towards like health insurance Therapy, for me. Health insurance <laughs> for, the, for the inevitable heart attack. Yeah. <laughs> give me a fucking, every give Sunday. me a life insurance policy. <laughs> Mike is shaving off five years of his life yeah. every single Our Sunday. Sunday game nights are pre-existing condition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why you can't get healthcare in America. So. Hooray. Um, well, on that note, I would like to say you can go to patreon.com slash pod like we have said before and after. Every Sunday's a game night. I can't guarantee it's a horror game night, but it's going to be game night at least. Um, we have can, to play prop hunt now. You have a machine. Here's that can the thing: I have, apparently have to buy shit for that. So it's maybe like once we get paid again, I will buy it for a bit you. more. We'll see. Well, we'll we'll get it going. We'll get it going. But um, you can go to deludi.com or deludipod.com. Either one gets you to our website. We have links to everything on there. All our socials, Twitter's, Instagram, Facebook, all of it. it. We're on it. Um, go to Twitter and learn about the skinwalkers in my space. Yeah, the, the skin joggers the skin in my joggers sump pump. In yeah. Sump pump. <laughs> oh, in the sump when pump. when this comes out. We will we have we will have started doing our SCP versus cryptid actual like yeah yeah moderated content I guess yeah, I don't right. know what to, I don't know what to call it right yeah I mentioned yeah, we it talked about that I talked about the beginning, beginning. No, I, I'm I'm reiterating okay. I'm excited okay. about this yeah. Matt okay. can you let me all be right. excited right. about this right. Right. fucking right. hell never Jeez, I'm super excited I'm never coming back <laughs> I'm fucking pissed <laughs> <laughs> um yeah Bar Monster Madness is coming up we're in, not doing four weeks March. we're doing five yeah in March here so get ready for that um yes. and then uh again all our all our socials were at Pod at just about everything or don't look on the internet you can literally just look google don't look Dilutipod. under the internet or Pod, and you'll find us um 
go to our YouTube. It's youtube.com slash at Uh Subscribe. That's really awesome. If you're on Spotify or uh, uh, Apple Podcasts, leave us a review. Uh, we're really close to that 500 mark, which is incredible. Um, Hell yeah. And, and we're doing the dang thing. Wait, what are we doing for 500? I don't know yet. I'll figure it out. I got ideas. Um, I didn't even do the 400 thing. So, I, in my defense, it was a little too hard. Spoiler: the Victorian Garb thing. It's it's not happening. I'm Mike sorry. Had to find Victorian Garb. Mike made promises. I made promises I couldn't keep. I can't find shit. I'm sorry. It's out. I had this whole big extravagant plan. It's just not going to happen. I'm sorry. But for 500, I will make it up to you. I promise. Um, but you could also um. Let's see here. What else is there? You go to buymeacoffee.com uh, slash Diluty Pod. Let's be real. It's going to be here for beer. Yeah, we for have. That, um, yeah. So we're going back to taking those again. But yes. thank you to everybody thank you, thank you, who thank donated, you. donated to Zane's yes. thing. So yep. only yes. one person, Dr. B, donated through the Buy Me a Coffee. But I did see that several people from our Patreon and the yep. Diluty community donated to Zane's uh, yep. GoFundMe thing. So that's thank wonderful. You thank you very that. much for that. Uh, that that's they, they incredible. Asked, not just, be, not because of us, because of Zane was a wonderful person who knew a lot right. of people, but they absolutely crushed the goal. So that's awesome. Yeah. Fuck yes. Yeah. That makes me so yeah. happy. The, you guys are a wonderful community and you did really nice things and you always do. You're, you're beautiful, wonderful people. Yeah, never you guys forget are the that. Shit. You guys never cease to amaze us. Please, please, please keep being amazing. Yes, and also um, one last little plug until I let you guys do your ending is you can uh, go to our Google phone number at 630-909-9366. You can leave us a text or you can leave us a voicemail. We respond to the texts. We also play the voicemails on air, just like what you're going to hear in a few seconds here. Um, Or I guess I should say like a minute or two. Uh, Once again, that's 630-909-9366. Something else you can do that I'm going to do with Moot as well is you can go up to one of your good friends um, and you can pluck out a tooth from their body (laughs) and then pluck out one of yours, swap them. It's kind of like one of those... um, It's like Crazy Bones or Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But then a part of you is with me and a part of me is with you always. I have one that I'm pretty sure I've got a cavity in that I've been avoiding going to the dentist about for like... A month oh. now, so can you take that one? Yeah, yeah. I got you. Okay. I'll take that one. Hmm. Um, Jason, do you have anything you want to say to the people? Yes. Okay. Moot, how about you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, be good, be good to yourselves, be good to the people around you, and um, thank you for having me here. Hell yeah. Also, stay paranoid. As always, we fucking love you guys. You guys are. Been... <laughs> 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 yeah, I did it! I was not it. That's all right. Boys, you got anything else? I, I, else? I love you. Come on, her. Come on her. Yeah, in lieu of Doug not being here, I will say, take your peen. 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 Stuff it in your bean. I'm going to just quote Doug. Find a small child. (laughs) 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 Mm. I need that button that just bleeps out all the noises. (laughs) 16. (laughs) 16. (laughs) Goodbye, everybody. We We love love you lots and lots. We love you.